In this video, I'm going to show you how you can play Terrace Brute Force by Noxcrew, newest version on a Sticky Piston hosting Minecraft server. It's very simple and all you have to do is follow the following steps. First, make your way to Noxcrew's website and look for Minecraft maps at the top. From there, scroll down until you see Terrace Brute Force. Click it and you'll be taken to this page. Simply scroll down past all of the information and look for these two download buttons. You want Java 1.16.4 free download. Then, depending on which browser you're using, it will either be in the bottom left or the top right, Terrace Root Force will start to download. Whilst that's installing, log into your Sticky Piston Hosting Multicraft Control Panel. Look for an instance that doesn't have anything on it yet. For example, number two, press the Install New Instance button and you'll be taken to a screen that shows all of the servers you can preload. Click on the option that says Minecraft at the top and then you want to search for 1.16. Point four. From there, you should see some options. You're going to want 1.16.4 on its own. Click it and press install Minecraft 1.16.4 and then choose install. And then your instance will be installed. All you have to do now is click on the drop down underneath the instance and press activate and then press activate again. Now, as you can see, 1.16.4 is our current instance. Keep in mind, we haven't actually started our server yet. We've just created the instance. So there is no world on this server currently, meaning we're gonna have to upload it. Once Terra Swoop Force has finished installing, go back to your Multicraft control panel, click on the world manager option and press upload world. From there, you want to go ahead and find your world. From there, simply drag the zip folder onto the page and the one click installer will do the rest. Whilst our world is uploading to our server, let's open up Minecraft Launcher, go to installations, and if you haven't already, create a new installation for 1.16.4 or the version of the Minecraft map you're playing if you're using this tutorial to get another map on your server. So we're going to call it 1.16.4 and we're going to go for latest release. We're going to scroll down until we find 1.16.4 release. Click on that. We we'll use the custom directory. You can set your resolution if you like. I will just do it to 16 by 9 and then press create. And then all you're going to want to do is go back to your play option. Click on the little arrow down here. You won't have as many options as me, but look for the one that you just created that is 1.16.4 and press play. We're going to want to go to multiplayer and direct connection. From there, you'll see a screen that says direct connection, server address with an input box. That input box is where you're going to want to put your server address if you haven't already done so. Back to the control panel now. As you can see, our world has finished importing. We now need to activate it by pressing the activate terrace swoop force button. Now this button will say something different depending on the name of the map that you upload. Now we are ready to start the world and grab our IP address, put it into Minecraft and load the server in the brand new Terrace Root Force and the resource packs there as well. Everybody, that is how you install Terrace Root Force or any map for that fact onto your Sticky Piston hosting server. If the resource pack is part of the world download and you upload it to the server, that should automatically be applied for you. Hope you found this video useful and stay crafty.